Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling, all the tech enthusiasts. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of flawless fiber optic cable installation? Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, this video is your ticket to a glitch-free lightning fast network. And you can also explore our solution page here to discover how we can tailor cutting edge technology to your specific needs. So let's take your connectivity to the next level. So in today's digital age, the importance of fast, reliable, and high capacity communication cannot be overstated. Fiber optic cable are the heart of this revolution, driving data at the speed of light and enabling seamless communication across the globe. And our objectives are clear today. We aim to empower you with the knowledge about fiber optic cable and equip yours with the insights that needed for a smooth installation process. So let's start by exploring the numerous advantages of fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable deliver blazing fast speed, offer unmatched bandwidth compatibility, and provide unparalleled reliability. Ensure that you're prepared for the technology of tomorrow. So when it comes to choosing the right fiber optic cable, it is essential to understand the differences between single mode and multi mode cables. Single mode fiber is designed for long distance transmission and high speed data transfer. It is ideal for applications like 40G or 100G, where data needs to travel extended distance without signal loss. While single mode fiber might be a little more expensive to install, it is cost effective effective for a long distance scenario and the reduced signal loss over extended length makes it an efficient choice and mountain mode fiber is better suited for a shorter distance it is more cost effective for a scenario due to its ability to handle lower speed data transmission efficiently and its versatile choice for a scenario where high speed isn't the primary requirement and if you need high speed, long distance, single mode is the way to go. On the other hand, multi mode fiber is great for shorter distance and lower speed application. So before you install your fiber optic network, first of all, you should gather all the necessary tools and equipment. Ensure that you have all the tools and equipment that we require for the installation. Then carefully plan the routes and pathway for your fiber optic cable. Avoid obstacles. And if your cables will be in store outdoor, consider protective measures such as conduit and armor cables. Most importantly, keep safety in mind. Use appropriate safety gear and ensure all your team members are properly trained in fiber optic cable installation procedures. So now we have moved in front of the demonstration board and we are going to set up a fiber optic network. So behind me are the, all the components that we have. So let's walk through the process together. Over here, we have the router to provide the main network. And I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect our router to this compact device. This device is called a media converter. Since we cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly to the router, that's why we need a media converter to convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. So let's plug it in here. So the data can travel through our fiber optic cable and power it up. Up here we have the SFP transceiver. This is a BD SFP transceiver. We'll need this because it is where we connect it with the fiber optic cable. And it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable that you use, the connectors, the bandwidth, and the distance. So let me plug it into the SFP slots here. This is a fiber patch cord. I'm going to connect it with the SFP transceiver and connect it with our termination box. This termination box can support up to 40 fiber optic strength and it is to manage our fiber optic cable and for protection too. So coming over this side, this is actually our 300 meters full strength fiber optic cable to provide fast internet. I already took out the cover for this one. You can see there are four strings and each string has a label on it. 
You can see clearly A, B, C, and D. Now I'm going to use a fiber patch cord again to connect it with this one, which is our string A. And this is LC connector, single mode fiber optic cable. Over this side, we are going to do the exact same thing using the BDSFP transceiver connected with the fiber patch cord from the termination box. Power it up and use a short batch cord to connect it with our connected device, which is the wireless SS point. And power it up. This is the power cord already connected to the wireless SS point. And you can see we are getting the power and we should get the data soon enough. So this is a complete setup for a fiber optic network. So pulling and installing fiber optic cable require precision and care to avoid damage and signal loss. To for an extremely long distance, it is often more efficient to pull the cable from the middle toward both ends, and this can minimize tension on the cables and reduces the risk of damage. And during the installation, it is advisable to have a two-person team. One person can pull the cable while the other person can carefully guide and release it. And after the installation, it is essential to secure the cable properly, especially in racks or conduits. So now we're moving to the last part of our video, do's and don'ts. So let's talk about the do's. Do inspect cables for any damage before installation. Do follow manufacturing guidelines for cable handling. Do label your cables for easy identification. And do perform cable testing after installation to ensure optimal performance. Now let's talk about don'ts. Don't exceed the maximum tension limit during the cable pulling. Don't exceed the cable's minimum band radius. Don't overlooking cable labeling and organization. Don't neglecting proper cleaning procedure for your connector. Don't expose your cables to excessive heat. And lastly, don't rush the installation process because patience is key. And thank you very much for joining us today. I will catch you in the next video.